you ever wanted to retire a millionaire, it is a dream for a majority of individuals to retire. And the average American has estimated that they need about $1.2 million to retire. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down that mathematically through your working career and seeing exactly how saving 10% of your income is going to make you a millionaire. Right here in investor.gov, this is going to be our compound interest calculator. And we're going to break it down again, mathematically, exactly how you can do this. And I'm going to tell you some assumptions as we're going through here. So looking at our initial investment, we are starting off at zero. That is right. If you are starting off with any initial investment at this point of your career. And again, I'm assuming this is, let's say, um, a high school graduate going into college, maybe has a little part-time job and really starting your working career. So the initial deposit or initial investment that we have is zero. Monthly contribution is going to be $125. Now this is based on a $15,000 income. Using 10% of that income is going to be $125 a year. Length of time is going to be four years. Now we're doing this mathematically again, because thinking from age 18 to 22, this is going to be the four year period where a majority of individuals are gonna be away at school. They might be working a part-time job. If you're anywhere ahead of this curve, of course, it is going to be indicative to not only save that 10%, but it is going to make a big game-changing difference in the numbers. For the interest rate, we are using 8%, and then of course, we are doing an annual compounding frequency. So again, when you start looking at the estimations, $15,000, saving that 10%, putting $125 away a month for four months is essentially gonna give you, when we calculate, $6,700. So now when you think about this, you have $6,700 saved in, let's say, a 401k account with the company that you started with. And of course, now you are 22 years old. So this is going to be our starting calculation. And this is where it comes kind of interesting to see. So we'll start with the starting number. Now, assuming that you graduate college at 22, by the time you're 23, let's say you get an entry level job, you're making $40,000 a year, we are going to save away that same 10%. So that is going to be the constant in here. And now we're going to bump this to $333 a month, because of course, based on a $40,000 income, your 10% is about $333 a month, which of course, the length of years in this is kind of going to change. We're going to bump this up to seven, meaning this is going to be from age 23 all the way up to age 30. We're going to be saving that $333 a month. And of course, all the assumptions are going to be the same, but with our initial investment being the 67.59, which of course was the 18 to the 22 year old. Now we're looking at 23 year old till 30 year old making $40,000 a year. And then again, we go ahead and do this calculation. Boom, we're up to almost $50,000. So at this point in our career, we are 30 years old. We've been in the workforce for 12 years. We have saved almost $50,000 in the 401k plan that we have with an average return of 8%. Now, again, if the average return is a little bit higher, great. If you're getting 10%, 12%, the numbers are just going to go actually parabolic as we continue this. And also, if you're making over 40,000, this would be a little bit higher for the 10% that you're putting away. Now, also remember, for a majority of Americans, this also does not provide any company match at all. This is 100% your contributions based on your 10%, which is kind of just the baseline. So looking at the number that we have right here, so the 47,000 now that we do have in here, that of course is going to be our starting number. And sometimes it doesn't let me paste it, but 47, 239, 55. So that is our starting number. You can see that is the number right down here. Now, of course, this puts us at 30 years old. We have almost 50,000 saved in here. Then, of course, we get a promotion. Let's say from the 40, we go up to 75. And again, you're talking about you're already working 12 years. So between the time of 31 to age 40, you're making $75,000 a year. Now, of course, when you're 30, it might be a little bit lower. By the time you're 40, it might be a little bit higher. But the rough average is around $75,000, which puts you at $625 a month. That is right. Looking at $625, we're again using only 10% of the income. We're not looking at company matches. We're not looking at additional contributions. We're not looking at individuals that are even making over this $75,000 a year now of course this is going to be age 31 to 40 same thing is we're going to look at now nine years because we're doing the extended version of going from 31 to 40 at 40 years of age and of course our initial investment was that 47k we are now looking at hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars that is right guys you're well into six figures and this is where the snowball for this absolutely starts moving now we're 40 years old, we have 190,000. Now a couple things again to really note with this. 
Number one, no company match. That's right, if you're getting a 4% company match, 7%, whatever it may be in here, you are literally getting a 100% return on the company match, which of course is the absolute priority why you wanna get that company match above and beyond anything else, even when it comes to debt elimination, get the company match, get the 4%, get the dollar that they're giving you. Any free money they're giving you is part of your compensation package, and overall, don't leave free money on the table. Now, of course, this brings us to 188, so we're doing 188, 088, uh, 76. Now, of course, we are 40 years old. This is where the snowball starts rolling and having a 75,000 income. Now we're looking at 41 to 50. So actually that next nine years and we're looking at a hundred thousand dollar income. So this is unfortunately where we're going to cap out, but that does put us at 833 a month with our hundred thousand dollar income, which again, 10% of the income divided by your 12 months is going to give you roughly 833. And this is only your contributions. Like I said before, this doesn't really um, show anything if there's company matches, if there's any other benefits. Again, we're looking at our 9%. We're starting with our 188, which we achieved at 40 years old. Then, of course, calculating this, boom, we are at half a million dollars. Just like that, guys. When we're at 40, we're at 188. When we fast forward to 50 with our contributions, we are north of half a million dollars at 50 years old. Now, also remember, when you get to retirement age, which for a majority of us will be 65 years old, the average savings that Americans have in a 401k is about $178,000. So you are over double what an average American does have by just putting in the 10% of your funds. And of course, this brings us to age 50. So even if you are looking to retire early, if you were looking to retire at 50, if you didn't have any debt, you have half a million dollars in a 401k, which again, doesn't include any additional matching through the companies you've worked for. And if we do just 10 more years, and again, the compounding aspect of this gets really, really good when you sit here. So again, we're still making this 100,000, which means essentially from age 41 to age 60, we have never had a pay increase. We make $100,000, contributions have never changed. But now we started, of course, with the half a million dollars that we've earned. By the time we're 50, again, looking at the 10% of our income that we're putting in the portfolio for nine years, this is going to take us to 60 years of age, and this puts us at $1.1 million at 60. And of course, we still have those final five years if you're working those final five years, but we are at $1.125 million in the portfolio at age 60, and this is really the power of your compounding interest. Even looking here, so the number that we have right there, again, let's say we just assume we're still making that $100,000. We're gonna put our 10% in there like we have our entire life at this point with an estimated interest rate again at 8%. This could be nine, it could be 10, it could be 12, it could be whatever. But now we're just looking at the final, essentially 61 to 65. So we'll do the four years in there with our contributions. And all of a sudden it goes to one and a half million dollars at retirement age, meaning when you think about the golden goose that Dave Ramsey talks about, we could have $1.5 million in here in a portfolio and essentially even just peel off the compounding, even just really peel off um, the, the additional income dividends, whatever this is kind of yielding. Because essentially, if you even thought about, let's say, putting this in something else, putting it into, let's say, a dividend portfolio, putting $1.5 million into JEPI, into the SCHD, you're looking at making almost $100,000 a year in an investment portfolio in dividends on the $100,000 a year that we are earned income working. So essentially, you could retire with this portfolio, put it into something like the JEPI, you would almost get or probably a little bit over the $100,000 of income that you're trying to supplement for retirement. And of course, that would just be dividends. You would never be touching the initial amount that you put in there. You would just be taking that 100,000 off the top every single year for the rest of your life, meaning that you'd be perfectly poised to essentially live, let's say 80, 90, 100 years old, taking and 100, living on that 100,000 that you're giving out of the dividends. And of course, your 1.5 million, we would never be touching the initial balance that is in there, meaning that you could retire on 10% of your income, 1.5 million at the age of 65, when you're ready to retire just by putting 10% in there. Now, of course, I know these numbers um, are, are kind of fictitious because even looking at you know the last 
what's that, 24 years of our life, we only made $100,000 a year. Even if you're a little bit north of 100,000 or even if somewhere along the lines, again, you got a company match, you have the ability to actually put a little bit more in there than that 10%. And even Dave Ramsey recommendation is 15% going into retirement accounts. You could literally, if this was at 15%, you're talking four to $5 million over the course of your life that you could have in a portfolio, making it very, very easy to retire when you're looking at four to $5 million. And again, just peeling off not even the entire growth factor that you're seeing with the compounding interest, just making sure that you live with inside of your means. And also looking at the budgeting methodology behind this, if you're doing a 90-10 budgeting, meaning 90% of your gross income or 90% of your income is going to your expenses, your fixed expenses, your variable, variable expenses, and you are saving the 10% in that 401k rate off the bat, the younger that you start and the earlier that you start this, the better and higher the compounding numbers are going to be. So all right, guys, that is an easy way to make $1.5 million by the time you retire. Just got to stick to the plan of that 10% through your entire career and you will be there. And of course, if you're starting later, if you're starting in your 30s, if you're starting in your 40s, it is just going to be a much higher monthly contribution that you're going to have to put in there to see the compounding effect that we see. So all right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.